Seguimos en nuestro recorrido por las oficinas de Qualcomm en San Diego y ahora vamos a ver eh, sus estándares de movilidad que aunque propiamente no le llaman 4G porque no está estandarizado nos vamos a subir a aquella camioneta para ver qué nos van a presentar So what you'll be seeing here today is a LTE OTA demo over 10 MHz FDD system. We operate over band 4 of the AWS class. Uh, that's 2125 uh, MHz downlink and 1725 MHz uplink. Um, the UE sits at the back of the van. It's our own prototype UE or the cell phone as we call it. And the base station we have here are three base stations deployed over a radius of three miles. So one base station is on top on the roof of this building and we have two base stations on the roof of two other buildings which are one mile away. So as we drive around we are going to see that the UE will do a handover from one base station to another depending on the coverage area. Um, we are currently spec compliant with the March 09 spec. Uh, this might have actually changed, I'm not too sure. It's a slightly old slide. Uh, so the OTA testbed, like I mentioned, has three base stations. They are all FPGA based platforms. They are not commercial platforms, they are just prototypes. Uh, however, the software stack that resides on them is a commercial software stack, which is being used by our commercial business unit called QCT, Qualcomm CDMA Technology. And they are actually doing the work of commercializing this LTE product. And uh, the, the data rates you're going to see today are uh, 33 megabits per second peak. And uh, in the lab we are doing, it's a category 2 UE, so we are doing 50 megabits per second in the lab. Uh, we are still working on some advanced features to bring that 33 megabits per second up to 50 megabits per second. QCT, however, is doing 75 megabits per second right now. So, uh, let me just give you an idea about the applications that we are going to see today. So here we have uh, video conferencing. It's a two-way video conference. Uh, that's the network operating center. That's where we control the base station from. He is the lead of our team, Chan. And uh, we control the UE from here. He controls the base station from there. And he's monitoring these data statistic logs that we are actually transmitting back to the base station. Uh, so this is two megabits per second downlink and two megabits per second uplink. The video streaming is around 8 megabits per second downlink. We have pings which are on the uplink. Uh, this is giving you the round trip time over the network. So if you look at the histogram, it peaks at around 11 to 12 milliseconds. That's our round trip time over the network. And as we drive, this will you'll see the peaks changing. Uh, the remaining part of the bandwidth is filled with TCP. It's basically... Uh, negotiating how much is the remaining bandwidth and it just occupies the remaining bandwidth. This here is a gaming application that we have. It's called the Cube app. So what this does is the white cube is running on the UE and the blue cube is running on the base station. The blue cube will try to catch up with the white cube and the distance between the two is the latency over our network. So it kind of gives you a real-time application feeling. It's like a gaming application as well as it means something more essential like the latency. So as I move this, you'll see that the blue cube is trying to catch up with the white cube. And the distance is the latency which is right now 24 to 26 millisecond over the air. And uh, over here we have some physical layer parameters. This is the signal strength which our UE is seeing from the base station. It's called the downlink RSSI, receive signal strength indicator. This is the cell ID that we are currently camped onto, uh, cell ID 406, which is the base station on top of another building, not this one. Uh, this cell ID is 399. So as we drive around, you're going to see handovers. So you're going to see this go to 399 and back to 406. So uh, if there are no other questions, we'll go for a drive. Okay, let's go for the drive. So the interesting part about this demo is every application is running on a dedicated barrel. What that means is every barrel has a different priority. So as we drive around and we hand over, 
DCP is on the least priority, so DCP takes a hit, but the video being on a higher priority looks flawless. So, so it's kind, it's called quality of service. So that, that's one feature or uh, attractive feature of our demo. So we saw a few handovers here. And you see that the TCP throughput dropped from 14 to 2 megabits per second, but the video still remained good. So that's quality of service. Uh, you said uh, you were getting uh, 32 megabits downstream on one band. Total. Yeah. yeah. Uh, upstream? Upstream right now we are doing 2 megabits per second on this guy okay. and about 300 kilobits per second for the pings. So it's 2.3 megabits per second. But, uh, how much do you have available? Uh, 16 megabits per second. 16 megabits. Yeah, that's what we are doing in the lab. 50 right? down, 60 up. Uh, 50 down, 16 up. 50 down, 16 up. 50 down, 16 up. So it's uh, 5.0, 50 megabits per second. So we are doing that in the lab. short drive that we did. We saw a few handovers and we saw the quality of service. So uh, yeah, this is our ODA demo. Okay. Is there any